obviously um um, the variance here is gonna be a bit bigger here on five cents one dollar table so the players are better um, they're playing a bit more aggressively that means our variance is gonna be a bit bigger um, than on limits uh, below this one um, so that means we um, we could see some crazy rides here uh, we had some crazy rides before in the live stream uh, but I guess it could be a bit more wild here we'll see uh, for example in the last uh, live stream I think I was up like 30 big bets or $30 already and then I lost uh, 100 big bets uh, during the session um, or something like this I was like down 70 bucks we're, we're really down 70 bucks uh, that wasn't true probably right but it, I think it was close to that I think we were down close to um, 80 uh, close to 100 bucks maybe like something like 80 um, so just the, during the session we lost 80 big bets so that's um, uh definitely possible and if you know our uh, the, our whole bankroll is basically 200 big bets so that basically mean if we lose uh, 80 big bets that's uh basically one third um, even more than one third of our um of our actual bankroll so uh yeah um this shows how aggressive our bankroll management here is but um like i said we are fine uh we have a, an aggressive bankroll management until we hit uh, one thousand dollars and then we actually like um, we said that's enough. We're not gonna move up anymore with 1,000 bucks. Uh, we're basically staying at one dollar, two dollar. Um, so I guess I could maybe even continue with our bankroll challenge after that. Maybe just playing one dollar, two dollar tables. I don't know. Um, we I definitely have to think it up something. Think up something. Okay. Uh, five four absolute. I have no idea if I actually um <laughs> if I if saw any the five four absolute hands or. If I follow them or whatever, so um, no idea. Didn't pay attention on five, four of suit. So let me see um, if, how many challenges we have still have. Um, we have um, the, the, the refreshing, 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 opening. Yes. Uh, so we completed actually completed three challenges so far already. Wow, nice. Um, am I gonna raise right away? No. He seems like an aggressive player enough to uh, see betting on the flop. I would three bet uh, with fives um, against someone who is not really uh, see betting enough on the flop. So um, obviously I don't want to see a check back, checks back, check backs with fives right on the flop. Um, I would rough to uh, uh, take an initiative as soon as possible. So. Um, that's why I think um, I would be preparing against someone who is, I don't know, like 70% of um, uh, CBET flop. Um, I'm gonna say goodbye to hands. I'm gonna trust Marilla here. I'm gonna fold this hand also. Uh, let's see which hands we complete. We complete a... Um, wait, we complete 5-4 offsuit hand? No. Yes, we did. Guys, we won with 5-4 offsuit. We won 4-5 offsuit. When did that happen? 4-5 <laughs> offsuit. Didn't win at this table. Just looking at all the green lines here when it when it says 5-4 offsuit. Pair of three jacks. Didn't win at this table. Um, and this table is gonna break as we can see here. Um, gonna take the other seat here. Um, I'm gonna call here once more and basically fall to his river bed. I have to fold now, of course. Um, um, so we're just sitting out here and just. I just. I found another table also, so that's not really a problem. Uh, Better with my two pair here against um, Himic. So. Um, did we win with 5 for offsuit here? No, we didn't. How the hell did we won the challenge? I have no idea. We also won with a pair of kings. Oh no, we still haven't won with um. No, no, we haven't won with a pair of with five four. Sorry about that. Nah, oops, wrong tab. Yeah, we won with a pair of fives for Livbury. We won with ace three for first eagle. Uh, 
challenge and we won, like we said, with Ace King as uh, Mike McDonald hand. Uh, I clicked on the complete hand, but I'm um, on complete tab, or not this one, it was, was completely at bottom, but I guess um, uh, it, j it just opens the, the same um, lobby as the the, the active um, button for active challenges, so. Mm. You know what, I'm gonna actually gonna check back this hand, I think it's a, a pretty good hand to check back with. I'm gonna bet here once more, even though I'm not really thrilled about. Um, uh, even if they, if these guys are drawing here, they have a pretty good, um, they have a pretty good, um, pretty good equity against me. Um, now the John bets, I am pretty sure I am behind here. Um, probably even to an ace. Um, pretty sure. Um, but um, to be 100% sure, we have to call here. Um, are we calling here? He might be doing this with a queen, and we're just effing ourselves here. I'm gonna call here. I'm gonna hold and just hope that he is doing. Yeah, he has an, actually has an ace, so um, that actually makes a lot of sense um, for a player like him to be a trappy, and then he kind of gets scared on the river, um, and he doesn't want to see a check back or something like this, and he just dunk bets uh, with a uh, his monster hand, and that's exactly what happened here. Unfortunately, um, I guess I mean even my C bet on the turn um wasn't like the best thing ever. Um, but the problem is if I check, um, like I said, like, they, get, they they have such a good equity here, so if I'm even checking, I'm just basically opening myself to them, so I'm um, just offering them to hit something on the river. Um, uh, I mean, they're not gonna fold, um, if they have, a, like I said, if they get, have a good equity, but um, you never know. Maybe like something like, like King Jack without a heart might fold, and... Um, they will have like million outs against me um, anyway. Um, mm, AP didn't see bet on the flop, so that was kind of surprising. Um, I guess I'm gonna bet now that I hit a, a nice on the, the river. I just hope that he calls me down with like King Queen now. He does not. So he was basically just trying, she was just basically stealing Himic. Uh, uh, Himic uh, race here, so yeah. hey Svetlo, welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Let's let's now that you're here, let's refresh our graph. Um, I guess we are, yeah, we are there. We are here with seven bucks in profit. Um, basically, um, kind of expect already. So, um, if Himic Bell dong bets here, I might raise this time just to just just to test him really first. Um, with the race, I could get Valkyria out, um, and of course I could test um, what Himic actually has when he's down betting with, and then I would just basically check back the river. Just, I guess I would, um, I would, um, I get a discount for my showdown there. Uh, but now I have to check back here, of course, with um, with my uh, with my lousy pair on a on a on a board like this, and he actually hits a he actually hits a pair. Plus a, an open-ended on the river, on the turn, oops, sorry, on the turn, uh, and he didn't do anything about it, so he didn't dong bet, he didn't race, he didn't, so his dong betting range is still kind of mystery to us, so we'll see. Uh, the problem with the turn here is that no high hand is going to fold now that um, the board is paired. Um, even, even if I am not raising with hand like 10 8 suited, and even if um, AP knows that I'm not raising with ace 10, 10 8 suited, but in once time in a blue moon I actually raise with 10 8 suited in a spot like this, um, they're still not folding, so. Um, with ace, with a, with a high, hand, high, high card hand, so. Um, uh, just try not to make a mistake like this. A uh, pair of aces should be good. Um, Obviously not the most drink flop for um, for races, but um, should be fine. Um, are we gonna raise right away? Um, I don't think so. I think he's capable of uh, betting again on the turn, um, even though now that the turn isn't really um, isn't really the nicest uh, thing ever. Um, are we really gonna shrug here and just call down? I think I am. Um, wow. Well, that that's that's nice. 
uh, check race here with two pair of course um if if marilla here raises uh, it's gonna be interesting um so asia here uh make a uh, makes a um a tongue here so um i'm already going to fold this um i guess he wouldn't do that, the tongue thing if he was behind right uh, but let's just make sure so we know for uh, next hands. Oh, he actually has a seven. So um, he we are actually splitting. So uh, so that nine was pretty good for him. So um, he actually had like an open ended straight flash draw on um, the flop. So his race is definitely a good one. So I am happy with um with split in this spot in this spot. So um, he me clean from race. So um. That is kind of scary for him to limp race. So, um, I mean, we have a flash of here, of course, so we are not folding. Uh, the problem is that I'm not, that I'm actually not beating many ace high hands here. Um, so if he bets, uh, he actually, you know what? He might be doing this with a with a pair, or, or, of course. So let let me see if my read is correct and he is doing this with a value hand. So basically, I could see here a pair of nines, pair of tens. Um, uh, stuff like this. So let, let's see if my read here is correct. I'm just gonna call and just hope that he... I'm not beating anything here. So I'm just basically calling for information. And maybe like a tiny chance that he's doing this with, I don't know, like 4-8. 4-8 offshoot. So let's see. Or 10-9. So, um, okay. So his limp raising range is 10-9 um, offshoot. So that is definitely good to know. Uh, definitely gonna make a note on this. So he did see bet the flop and he was kind of scared and basically just trying to hit a um, a straight or I don't know a pair um, on the river. So that's why he check checks back the turn. Um, of course he then just fire away when I checked again. Um, so I'm kind of happy with my call there. Um, but I just wanted to see, like I said, uh, I wanted to see what exactly he's doing this with. Um, now I know that he is kind of a spazzy player, so um, um, that is definitely a good thing to know, of course. Um, am I um, good enough here to call? I am a little girl. You are mean, I guess. Um, obviously, um, I don't really believe that she's a little girl, but um, it's fine. Um, I can't call this. I mean, I have a pair of tens, but um, and um, yeah, I don't think he's um, he's doing this with a worse hand than mine. Um, the only hand that I could see here doing this would be, I want to say Ace King, but I obviously Ace King has the nut here. So I have no idea what could be doing this with a with a hand that I beat with, with quite kind of hand. Um, just check on here. If Valkyria decides to bet, that's fine. Um, but I'm not doing the betting for him. He's not capable of betting. Um, he's flush here with a with a six. So how is 19 years old, Lil? Just chatting here at tables. Um, obviously, I like the chat here. Uh, Himik decides to come back. He just went for um, for a cooldown now with uh, now with the, that 10-9 of suit the bluff here, and he is over fresh now. He decided that for now on he's gonna play straight forward. He's not doing any bluffs anymore. Um, so yes. This is exactly how it went down um, now in this minute here. Um, he had a look at his uh, bank account. He saw that um, he doesn't have much left. So um, if he wants to succeed in poker, he has to um, straighten up here. And um, he's only, go only going to raise a, a good hands. Um, just um, folding everything else. Just um, playing with the good hands. So let's see if um, our read is correct. So the actual little 888. Um, one here, he seems pretty passive, so we're gonna mark him as a green here. We have any notes that we don't have notes on, so uh, any players that we don't have notes on, so 
He's a white, so I have no idea what to think of him, to be honest. Um, so far, he just seems like a regular wreck, so... Mm. He's gonna stay a, a white for now. Um, so far, so uh, so far I haven't got any um, well, any like particularly good good um, uh, good uh, notes on him. So uh, if if my if my biggest note is that he's check raising trips nine on the flop, you know I have <laughs> no notes on him really. Uh, but that doesn't mean that he's not doing mistakes. Of course, um, it just just means that I'm basically uh, um, playing too many hands here and <laughs> just um, no not not noticing really. So. Or I didn't, um, or I didn't note them down. Um, that was pretty good river for me, I think. I beat uh, lots of. Um, I even beat two pair. If he somehow has an eight seven here, um, but I don't think that's the case. Um, he has a pair of nines. That's fine. <laughs> I am recording this. Yes, I am. I have no idea how much room I have left on my um. Let me just, um, I'm just gonna go black for a second, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm just gonna open this. I have enough. I have just enough for today. 9-7, not going to brace. Uh, which hand do we still need to win for our challenge here? Um, let me open it up again. And after the session, we're gonna join all these million dollars. Um, um, all in shootouts, and of course, um, we're gonna try to win that million, that million bucks. Um, two active, so four complete, two active, uh, four five offsuit, of course. Uh, oh, it's a deposit challenge one, so um, basic only four five four offsuit is um, the one that we need to win uh, with. So um, yeah, it's gonna that's gonna be kind of hard one, but not because it's hard to win with five four. Um, Obviously, you you can take it down pre-flop uh, when everyone falls, um, but it's just kind of pain in the ass because I have to kind of find, first pay attention of five four of suit, and it has to be the right suit. So, um, um, but I guess, uh, but I guess the ticket for this uh, free roll is also gonna be the most valuable one. Um, so he called me on the flop, so I kind of made a check back on the turn to squeeze a bet from him on the river. Um, he actually has a, an, a he actually had a king wars king in mind here, so um, my check back wasn't the best in uh, this particular case. Uh, but if I think about his whole range, um, I think it's fine. Um, I mean, if I'm giving him free outs for a flash round, that obviously it's uh, flash round. It's obviously not a good thing to do, but um, I think he might be betting here on the river with um with some. In some weird if, um, bluffs and stuff like this, so I don't mind my check, even though yeah, maybe I'm giving a bit, him a bit too much credit. Um, who knows? <laughs> so we are playing for um, an hour and 14 minutes here. Um, I guess I'm gonna make a break um, in 45 minutes, just a like a Two minute break, just just a pee break, really, and nothing else. Um, um, so he, Bell, we said that he is going to play straightforward from now. He's gonna be a good player. He's not gonna tilt. Um, so um, I guess uh, we're gonna fold here. Um, now that AP raises. I mean, AP is obviously trying to get rid of me from this spot here. So that's why um, he can be raising. So um, it's obviously pretty good if he's raising with um, I don't know, like even with the stuff like King Queen 10 or something like that so um I definitely wouldn't mind a race like this so um yeah Himmick decides that he's gonna play his best hands only not going to bluff anymore so I guess he hits a flush on the river that would be my um, um it would be my um conclusion here and that is definitely correct see he did hit a flush unfortunately he got rewarded by a full house from AP guy which is a shame, obviously we want to see Himmick win, to win against um, other wrecks at the table, just not against us, of course. Um, uh, but unfortunately it didn't happen this, year, uh, this time here. I'm gonna call here again, I think my ace and my king outs here are good, so I'm definitely going to call. Uh, and I have, guess I have to fold here, I don't think Mariela here is bluffing uh, a lot here. He might have a flash rod, to be honest, um, but he did bet 
I mean, I'm, I'm gonna call here. I'm not really gonna call. Um, not sure if he's capable of doing this with a flush, but let's see. Um, now that that 10, another 10 hit, um, it's obviously kind of less uh, probability that he actually has a 10 here, so uh, that's I, that's why I kind of call again on the river. Um, but he actually is doing this with a six, so that's pretty um, that's pretty optimistic actually. Um, lost with a, against a, another queen uh, with a better kicker. Um, also pretty um, nifty from him that he actually just called the flop and raised the turn with a with a queen and ten kicker. So um, actually surprised that a loose passive player like this is capable of doing this. So um, that kind of hurt. I must confess. <laughs> Um, saying all this, can I bet again with with pair of trees here? I guess I am, and uh, falling to his race. But now I just gonna to check check behind here with um with my pair. Um, he has a pair of eight, so that's fine. The problem with um uh, calling he actually has two pair of all the end. Uh, the problem with with checking behind on the t the turn is that um a player like this will fire the river no matter what. Uh, he might not be a player like this to be honest. I'm gonna call here and probably lose to a queen here, I guess. Unless he decides to do something um, drastically here. I did 3 bet pre flop, so... Um, did he raise for a free showdown? Oh, he had a jack and he waited until the turn, so... I guess it's fine, he also had a gacha there, so... And uh, obviously I have some other plane B outs. So um, he basically just raised... Um, he decided to raise and just check back the river, which is... Um, which is a pretty... Um, Bit usual to see. I mean, we see it quite often here, so um, wasn't something special. So um, he played fine. Okay, I guess he decided that he's gonna call down. Um, um, he's gonna call down um, in any case. So even if he raises. Um, the turn and checks back the river. He's gonna put um, the same amount of money in, but obviously he might have a, a, a um, uh, some bluffing out, I guess, a bluffing equity, um, or um, he could extract a few more bets um, if he's not come behind, of course. But he might extract a few bets here. Um, if I have a flash draw, was there a flash draw possible? Yes, it was. So um, I don't know. Um. Gonna bet again and check. Uh, now I'm gonna check and check call here. Um, I mean, I mean, didn't want to do this be just because of a a card like this on the river. Um, and I have to fold this now. I know. I know. Oh, I don't like it here. I'm gonna call here once uh, and fold and improved. If I see a uh, spade on the turn, I am gonna call again. Um, did, we f did we fold any 5 4 offsuits for now? I have I have noticed so. Um, yeah, it's gonna be kinda hard uh, to spot a 7 suit. Uh, 5 4 suits. 5 4 suits of suits. Uh, being a 4 being diamond and 4 being a 5 being a diamond, 4 being a spade. So Asya here decides just to check um, with a pair of queens, so um, I guess she, right, she is a bit passive, did she say anything besides um, after that? No, it doesn't seem so. Hmm, I wanna fold this right away. If Alex and here 3 bets pre-flop um, and there's an ace on the board, I can't really do much with my king high. And there's also Marilla, of course. And uh, he hit something big. Wow. That was kind of painful for Marilla, who is actually our viewer here. Wow. Ace draws the sevens and ace seven on the board. And I had lousy king nine high, so um, yeah, good fall, Luca. <laughs> it was a really hard fall to make, right? Um, but um, we made it, so. 
Uh, let's refresh our graph. We haven't refreshed it for quite some time now. Ooh, we're only one dollar in, in profit. Which is not in a surprising way. We're doing great at this table, but um, not the best on the other tables here. Um, so yeah, the tables are actually pretty good. So um, um, I am happy about the tables. Um, should we be betting again here with uh, Queen Jack suited? I guess I am. If I'm betting here again on the turn, uh, I guess I should be betting again on the river. Um, yeah, I'm gonna bet again and just hope that he, some that he folds something even though he is not folding anything here. Maybe King Queen. Let's hope he folds a King High. Um, he's not folding an Ace High. Yeah, he's now folding an Ace High. So just hoping that he folds uh, a King High at its spot, this, that spot really. And he said um, he decides to not fold. Um, I'm not really surprised by his calling. He's called by Sebut, so um, we have to um, just we have to um, basically um, punish. Um, He's uh he's calling down uh, with um with really marginal hands uh being marginal being um marginal showdown on hand so um if he's capable of um calling down 57 percent on his um on his hand so that means that we are uh, definitely to value bet um pretty thin at the end um so um shouldn't be I shouldn't be check checking like a skin towel hand on a board like this uh, on a board like it was before. Um, I should be ra uh, should be betting, value betting it, um, but I'm gonna call here with my top pair ace. Um, I did play it passively, so um, I kind of disguised my hand um, with an ace. Um, but if he's betting like three times, I kind of kind of expect to see an, an ace uh, from his hand or maybe a king queen if he got lucky at the end or I don't know jack ten or something like this. So I'm not really beating much. Um, uh, only a bluff, but um. He might bluff, like just because, like I said, um, I did kind of, um, uh, kind of hide my ace there, just, just calling, uh, even just calling pre-flop and just calling on a flop on a turn. It's actually pretty. Um, not sure um, why he actually bets on the ter the river. Was he really? I mean, was he really betting on the river? Um, I guess. I mean. Is he thinking that I could call with wars? With wars than a6? I guess um, that was the case. Betting here. And now we hit a pair. And he don't bet, so I'm gonna just say goodbye to my hand. Um, I just actually pressed fold, but uh, that's not true. Um, he, he here might uh, just... You know what? Let's, let's cold call here. Let's call call because I, I kind of believe that Asia is going to be in the hand also, but no, she folds. That's fine. Playing 7-9 suited uh, against two players, um, which are probably not the best, so um, I don't mind here calling here. I'm just folding now that uh, little here don't bets. Hey, Poker Hammer. Um, harsh hand that uh, Aces versus your 7s. Um, oh, you saw it, yes. You, you were... Um, we're watching from the beginning. I would actually stop down on the river. Um, did you did you cap on the river also, you guys? Did you cap on the river also? Um, King nine. Yeah, I think the river was our play. Um, to be honest. Um, I mean, he could go lucky and hit like either straight out, straight or a flush at the end. So, um, I think your river um, capping was a bit too optimistic. I mean, he did obviously he did he did a raise before. So, um, um, so I guess your thinking was that he is not doing it with, with a draw, um, and that he's doing this with a better hand, like I don't know, like a two pair or maybe top pair, um, like ace king or something like this, or um, a worse. Um, a worse um, set there, or yeah. But on the river, I would definitely slow down when um, if he's raising again. <laughs> yeah, you could lose a bit less, but you never know. Yeah, so that that was that was your thinking there. So I think um, 
Um, that's fine. I think King 6 was optimistic post flop on pre flop. Um, yeah, I mean, what can you do? That, that's true, but um, um, if you if your if your reasoning is what what else can I do, um, then then you know that you haven't made the best play pre flop. <laughs> um, um, so yeah. Um, three players in. I'm not gonna see bet ace ace queen here. Just hoping for a free um, turn here. Didn't get it so. I'm gonna call here once um, if um, APDZN here decides to um, call, but he doesn't have bridges, of course, that that Russian bastard. <laughs> um, bluffing, same with bluffing here on the turn with my open ended, so um, I did hit a turn, so I did hit a river with a pair of sixes, so there's no use of me to be betting again on the river, so just checking and hoping that um, my six is good. And he just had a S king, so. Kira wasn't happy about his him losing a that um, ace king hand versus my six four, so uh, he actually quits at the table, and now the basically the, the game game breaks here. So um, we're gonna try to find another table here. Um, I don't have any tables on reserve, no, I don't, so I have to um, enjoy the waiting list here. Uh, I see the tables up. Okay, so um, I definitely should um try to far find um another table pretty quick so um, I'm gonna wait here just to get my BBBs here <laughs> hey free roll welcome to the stream welcome back my first ever um, subscriber like I said you're gonna use you're, you're my first one you never forget your first um, here's another table I got another one um, I don't know Here's one one player with a playing from a mobile, so that is definitely a good um it's definitely a good um sign, but um I think I found a table already, so and the table breaks, so let's try to find another one. Is this one any better? Yeah, this one is way better. So I'm actually glad. So um let's quit this table and just move this table here. I'm gonna play with pair of freeze against Asia. Not really this, not really thinking of folding anytime soon here really um i mean if he, if she bets three times here on the flop turn and on the river i might fold even though obviously um my hand doesn't seem as good um against her range uh but it's still a pair um and you can't really fold a pair now i have open-ended so i'm definitely gonna call again um so i'm just hoping that he she checks behind with um ace uh, queen no she does not um i'm gonna fold Mm. Top pair queen now to pair um, with a dangerous uh, turn. Um, and he decides to raise now. So yeah, he, we saw that he is he was waiting with a with a good hand uh, pre uh, before uh, until the the turn. So I guess he is doing the same here. I'm just waiting until the river. So yeah, he did hit. So nice hand, nice hand. So not doing great anymore. Uh, we started losing quite a lot of hands here. Basically every hand that we uh, played here um, in the last few minutes, uh, we kind of lost. So um, or at least the big ones. Um, so I'm gonna do uh, refresh. I'm gonna refresh our graph pretty soon here. Um, just gonna play this um, this hands heal until the river. 
Is Alexi gonna bet again here? If he's thinking, I guess uh, he's gonna bet and I'm gonna lose here. Um, I'm gonna fold, yeah, to his bet. I know I have a pair, but I'm... Yeah. Uh, this table got pretty good, so um, let's hope that Monaro here comes back and um, this table is gonna be a hoot, as Canadian we said, Canadians. Um, gonna three bet here, Mariela here with pair of fives. Um, that eight didn't really help me. Um, didn't help my case of, of representing good hand, I guess. But I'm gonna keep on betting here. At least he's not going to uh, raise me anytime soon. Uh, I'm just gonna check back here and just hope that my fives are good. Um, I'm not even. It's not even that I'm like really afraid of Marilla. Um, I have no idea what Asia here has. So um. Um. Yeah, it was a good hand. It's not literally all the hands. <laughs> um, you're literally using literally uh, too much, uh, but he he did play it, um, like 80% of the hands so far. Oh, actually 97. So. Uh, I guess I have to give you credit to saying that um, literally all the hands, so um, it's a bit, um, it's even a bit more than um, that I thought of. So, um, um, so yeah, maybe even yeah, maybe even, it's even true. Maybe even even all the hands, he's playing all the hands. But he, even though he's playing all the hands, I mean, I kind of like his post flop play to be honest. Um, I mean, he's playing all the hands, but um, he plays his strong hands pretty good, so um. Which is not really um, you're not really used to see um, with uh, this kind of players. So um, like waiting till a turn and stuff like this. So if he has a good hand here, he is basically just calling me here and raising me in turn right. So he just does this. Um, I'm gonna call down here. Um, especially on a king river. I think I think it's fine. Um, I'm I'm almost definitely losing here. I mean, I haven't seen him bluff before, so. Let's see if it's possible that he's bluffing. No, he actually has a 6, so... He played it well once again. Unfortunately for us, still not doing great. Oh, I said I'm gonna refresh my graph here, so uh, let's um, play this hand. He did check raise pre-flop. Um, he did limp, so I'm kind of not really believing him that he has an ace because he limped and raised on a board like this. Uh, but now the turn is uh, reverse even um, uglier, but he actually has ace-king, so he, he limped with ace-king, so... Definitely make a note of that. Not sure why he decided to donk, donk, donk check the, f the, the turn. What was um, his um, reasoning for that? So yeah. I'm gonna check race um, Marilla Hen again. Um, trying to uh, race with my. Um, on a board like this, I am basically raising with all my value hands, so um, he, I'm pretty sure he must know that, so um, we'll see what he does on the turn on or on the river. Um, like I said, um, I, there's no many draws here, obviously zero draws, um, just 5-4. I could play like um, like a Chris Money hand with a 5-4, uh, but uh, he, I'm pretty sure he knows that... Um, ooh, ooh, was this the correct 5-4? No, it wasn't. <laughs> um, um, but like, like I said, he probably knows that I'm just doing this with a with a value hand. So um, um, I guess if he's raising, he's uh, doing for a value, and uh, I should be behind in a spot like this. But um, yeah, you never know. Um, let's do the refresh now. And uh, now that we won like two hands uh, back, oh yeah, we're back in green. So thank God I waited a few more minutes here to win a <laughs> few more hands back. So yeah. Um, don't bet, but all the cash me. Um, I like his nickname. Um, I have a f open ended draw, so I'm not going anywhere with my 7. I'm gonna call if I hit a 7 or if I hit an, an ace, and obviously raise if I hit a um, straight. So I'm kind of curious what he had here. He didn't have much money left. I'm pretty sure he 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 joined. Pretty sure he joined the table with not many, uh, not not 
big of a bankroll leader. So he actually just bet out with a six on the on the on the flop when hits the turn. So that was um unfortunate for um Alexan and he all the cash actually quits the table right away. I'm gonna mark him up. Not not John. I'm gonna mark all the cash with a green tag. I think he deserves this um, tag here. So. <laughs> Laubes, Laubes from um, Germany, right? Yeah, um, he raises us here. We have backdoor flush and backdoor straight draw. So can we call with uh, with two backdoors here? I guess we can. Um, even my our pair might be good um, once um, once here. So um, yeah, I'm gonna uh, I have to bet here. It's such an uneventful flop that uh, even my pair of threes might be good here. So um. I'd obviously just want to see some faults here. Another deuce. Um, I guess I'm gonna bet again. Even, oh, I'm, hoping, I'm hoping I'm not betting here in um, in bet. Um, so now I hit um, my pair here. Um, we'll see what news he here has. Um, he has a better rate, so um, that is fine. What is yours? Um, I'm not gonna check all here, Alexan. I did check here. I'm uh, just hoping that uh, non sleepy here has a an nice or um, Asia here and that. that he is going to bed, that's why I waited uh, until the the turn and I actually got it pretty good. Non sleepy had ace queen there, so um, not sure if he's um, not sure if he is um, he really means a nice hand here, but I'm definitely going to say thank you. <laughs> um, I definitely played it well. Um, free roll. Um, I was salty the past couple of days. Uh, fixed limit holding is brutal when running bad, yeah. Definitely true. Getting soul crushed by 78 and 74 plus. Yeah, I was playing 1020, even moved down, so I would not lose my small bankroll. Played 70 hands, uh, lost. Uh, ooh, ouch. 120 big bets is obviously quite a lot on um, on a limits like this, so um, definitely um, definitely painful. Um, he three bets pre flop and obviously calls to my cap. Uh, now and now he just don't bet, so. Um, uh, I'm not sure what to think of it here, so I'm just gonna call and basically decide, decide on the river and um, my decision is to fold, I guess. Yeah. Praise us! Thank you for the follow. Welcome to Mirrors Mafia. <laughs> the tables are pretty great. They're still pretty great. I am happy about the tables here. Um, I said that I'm gonna make a break after two hours of play, so that means uh, I would like to make a break in 20 minutes. But um, I mean, if tables are going to be this good, uh, I don't want to quit them to be honest. Um, uh, I guess my, I guess I have to postpone my um, peeing break for um, for a few minutes here. Uh, we'll see. Uh, for now, we're still fine. <laughs> uh, 5 4. We haven't won with 5 4, right? Let me check. Challenge again now. It doesn't seem um, we do not have um, that red um, red exclamation point um, on our uh, challenge step. So I guess we haven't won with 5 4 yet. Even though I'm not paying attention on 5 4. So um, I did notice one 5 4, but it wasn't. <laughs> I mean, I folded it too soon, so I didn't even, even notice. Um, I didn't notice it soon enough, um, but it wasn't the correct one. So. Senoras, uh, Senoras here. Um, he called calls a lot, so let's call him um, a loose special player. Um, Mr. Harry here. Um, he three bets pre flop and now checks back um, with an ace on the board. So um, I guess I ha I have to be pretty comfortable with my ace. But Newsy here, unfortunately, has a better ace. So um, we just want the the small pot here. Um, the the side pot. Uh, five four suited. So that's not good enough for our um. Chris Mark moneymaker um challenge hand something so we need to five another one um five four um not sure if he's saying that he has a five four or if I have a five four um 
I might even believe that he has 5-4, but I'm no idea what Senoras here has behind me, so um, I'm just um, calling down here with a ace-5. I'm uh, just trying to hit my either my ace or my gut shot here. Um, it wasn't good enough. If I've got that 5-4 here, I would play a bit more uh, aggressively. Um, I think um, just trying to win the ticket here. Um, I mean, if I if I just like I say I joined the the, the challenges here uh, for the million dollar month, uh, but if I just just not not try to think about a hand, if I just play the hands and sooner or later I will complete all the challenges here. So basically in a day, not in a day, like in an hour, we complete like four four of the challenges. Uh, we are just left with one with those uh, with that five four offset hand. But if I'm gonna play like for the whole week, I guess I'm gonna win with 5-4 offset also. Um, the only problem is that because this is such a... Um, like a, it's a specific hand, obviously, um, we're not gonna get it like many times here on uh, in our playing time. Um, uh, and of course when we get it, we want to win with it, so that's why we kinda need to pay attention. It's, it's definitely also possible that we basically get like this hand only like, I don't know, few times per week or something like this so obviously it's okay uh, that's um, definitely possible or we could get it like a few times per hour also so um uh, that's how poker is i'm gonna spill here once um he is uh, really bad uh, with the c betting on the turn so i'm just hoping to see a, a free card here i'm gonna bluff here even though ace high is never folding here um but he might fold a queen jack I would be happy for him folding a queen jack. Of course, I would be ecstatic about him folding a ace high here, but I'm, I'm just saying that that's not gonna happen, really. Or maybe he did have one. Who knows? Uh, Shoulder on Itever, I'm at 39 over 7k head, but only... Yeah, if you have 39% of uh, Winter Showdown, which is uh, which is not being a Showdown it, it's actually perfectly fine for uh, for limits uh, like this, I think. Uh, but 48% is obviously way, way too low, so um, you are just not running well, I think. So, um, um, I mean, Poker Hammer is saying that 39 is too low, probably. I mean, it's too low for, for maybe for these limits that we are playing, but I think it's fine for... Um, I think it's fine for 10 cents, 20 cents um, tables, especially uh, if you have like, um, I don't know, if you have like, if you're not just playing, um, when you raise here, right, I I have I play heads up, post flop, like lots of the times, but um, when you raise on a, on a micro, micro stakes tables or even nano stakes tables, you're playing um, multi-way pots and obviously uh, you can't, uh, you can't call down uh, every time in um, that hand. Even though Luca has 38, went to show in my database. Um, I think my um, my went to showdown is something up between 40 and 41. Um, the higher that I get, the the bigger my um, uh, went to showdown is. For example, at 15:30, my um, uh, at 15:30, my showdown is uh, 40. It's 42 percent or something like this. And the lower I get. Um, the lower my went to showdown is. Um, um, can't really like really pinpoint the um, why it is, but um, no, it's just a heaven here. Um, I'm gonna call here, even though obviously he's not dunk betting with um with a bad uh, flush here on the river, but who knows, he might. Um, I have straight, so can't really fold. He might do this with queen jack. Who knows. Or some other um, hand here, but um, yeah, it may be with a set of jacks. Mm, 
I guess I'm gonna quit this table here. Um, I obviously don't want to play heads up with uh, Marilla here or um, playing with Iggy Ig here. Um, just trying to find another table. Just uh, a um, full shorthanded table would be fine. Um, if the table um, is gonna be active in the future, I'm definitely gonna come back. But for now, uh, I'm just quitting and trying to uh, find another table here. Uh, I was kind of lucky today here. Uh, I really don't need to uh, change the tables or change the seats um, as much as I needed uh, in my previous session. So uh, I definitely am, am grateful for that. Um, but of course, some some table section is obviously um, uh, needed here um, anyway. So uh, rates, by the way, the pair of eights. He's also really short, so um, I don't mind if even he puts uh, his all his money all in here on the turn. So. Um, but unfortunately it doesn't happen. A pair and a um, gutshot here and a backdoor flush, so um, we are not going anywhere here. Calling here definitely on the flop and almost definitely on the river. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, on the turn. Especially if uh, Alex and here joins in. Um, I'm gonna dong bet now. I'm gonna dong bet. I'm basically saying what my hand is, uh, even though I have two pair. I'm not really saying I have two pair, but I'm, um, um, I'm basically saying that I have something here. So um, if he has an eight top pair ace here, um, if he's good enough, he might fold with ace with top pair ace. Um, I think that would be good good fold against me. Even though even he has a, obviously if he has an, a top pair ace, he has lots of outs against me because I just uh, dunk bet with two pair. Um, people don't usually dunk bet with two pair here. Um, you see uh, people dunk betting with uh, basically a straight here or a flush. Um, uh, maybe not even a flush. <laughs> Eager to see why you had, yeah. Mm, I'm gonna call here once and. Um, not really do anything um, drastically here on the river, especially now that another king hits. Um, my two pair action is also uh, killed, so I'm just gonna fold here. Um, I joined the table because there were two um, blue ones, even though I have, don't have position in them, that doesn't really matter here. Um, we're definitely going to play um, on this table, it seems pretty good one, so uh, let me just make a simple water kill real quick. I should be refreshing my um, old manager here. Ooh, nice, we're back at seventeen dollars in profit. So MG Harry here, he limped pre-flop, right? When I had ten deuce, I wouldn't be playing ten deuce. Um, otherwise, I guess uh, he just limped, yeah, and he didn't do anything when um when there was Ace King ten on the board. Um, Kind of surprising, so. Okay, so he's not that kind of a player who could be um, bluffing there or whatever. Mm, he's done betting now, so I'm gonna call and raise the river, even though um, obviously there are many many draws on the board with a 6 7 use and. and um, just uh, hearing 6 7 there, so um, I guess um, raising right way would be fine, but I'm kind of expecting that he is betting again on the turn, so that's why um, I am betting here. Uh, both my grabs, I guess you should be posting uh, both your grabs separately. Um, um, 